Good morning, guys. Tal como se cuenta. Morning. I'm sorry, good evening. <laughs> okay, good morning to you too. Okay. Okay. Um, first of all, um, I'm really sorry I didn't finish the PDF because today I get sick and I had to to go to the east and I spent all my day there. After that, I take a nap and maybe for that reason. Sorry, teacher, but I can't hear you. Can you hear me better? Yeah. Okay, I said that unfortunately I spent all my day in, in the East. For the reason I couldn't finalize the PDF. And I'm truly sorry, I will try to finalize today because I get sick today. And let me know how was your day, guys. How was your day, Jaime? Well, yeah. With my day yesterday, I was playing with me. My family, having a lot of work, having a lot of work. I think today was a good day. And I hope that this class is going to be a lot. I did try my way. Okay, Jaime, I couldn't listen so well. I listened so far, but um, I could listen just a little part. And it sounds interesting, but just spend time with your family. It's something really, really amazing. Okay, uh, hello, maybe. Hello, Morena. Hello, Jancy. Right now it's 801. Yeah, uh, we will provide two minutes more in order to start the class and the rest of the, the class join. Meanwhile, I will give in to you a prize to for be puntual. And that will be um uh maybe a preview about the the aims that we will learn. If you remember yesterday. Uh, we uh, we finished the class in these sections, and today we will learn about this one: mid plus passive infinitives and keeps also with gerunds. Um, let me know. Uh, I need a participant. A second. Who can tell me? What is a gerund? It's a verb with ing at the end. Mm -hmm. And we use for what? Well, we can use it in different ways. For example, with um, with when we talk, when I'm I'm doing something right now, like uh, I'm playing. I play, I play music or I'm playing uh, something, I'm doing something, I'm doing the laundry. In past, it's the same. Uh, I was uh, playing soccer. I was cleaning the house. And uh, the for the video that we saw yesterday too, it's something that should be fixed. So we use gerund to. Yeah. Uh, the gerund we use for uh, activities that has to be in movement. For example, running. Done. We cannot run if we just make one step. No, it's just one step. You have to be on movement in order to say, I am running. It's the same when we use a gerund. We use a gerund in order to describe actions that this is movement. And right now, we will learn how to use a gerund in order to describe some problems. To start with the class, we will start watching a video. Please pay attention in this video, guys. And let me know if you can listen to me uh, 
clearly if you have some uh, problem with the audio also let me know please Okay. Welcome. If you paid attention to the last conversation, you noticed the use of need okay. and keep. I'll ask you to stay around and learn different ways to report problems. Describing problems too. Keep plus gerund. Everything keeps burning. The alarm keeps going off. Need plus gerund. The oven needs adjusting. The alarm needs fixing. Need plus passive infinitive. It needs to be adjusted. It needs to be fixed. Now that you have listened to the audio program, we will keep on showing you how to describe or report problems. In this opportunity, we will do by using keep plus gerund, need plus gerund, and need plus passive infinitive. Do you remember what's the problem with the oven? That's right, the oven keeps burning everything. Let's stop here. Notice what follows keep, a gerund. Burning is a gerund. This is what we will study. Keep plus gerund. A gerund follows the verb keep when it refers to a repetitive action. My teacher keeps telling me to learn my verbs. Her siblings keep fighting over the TV. Now we'll study need plus gerund or passive infinitive. Either way we use need plus gerund or need plus passive infinitive, it means the same. You may say, this chair needs fixing, or this chair needs to be fixed. We hope you got the structure. You know, in my house, a room needs to be built. Can you think of two home improvements you would like to make? Can you type them on a discussion box? Choose any of the structures learned. It's okay. burning. What do you think about the video? Bueno, chicos, ¿qué opinan sobre el video? Mm -hmm. Okay, I will choose pick one. Pick some one. Eh, Lourdes, can you help us please? Hi, can you hear me? Yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Hi. Just it is. Hi. Explain about the. It is not the difference because at, uh, at the end of the video, say that the mean of the germs and uh, infinities are, are the same. So it's just to compare the both meaning or in the both in the examples. Okay, the, the meaning or, or maybe the information that you want to provide is the same, but it's a different way. Remember that the English, uh, the language of uh, the English language has many ways to describe one thing at the same in Spanish. Nosotros no solo ocupamos una forma de como decir Alcanzame eso. Nosotros podemos ocupar. Pásame eso. Podrías pasarme eso. Y de same en inglés. Are different ways to say something para the same meaning. Uh, mm -hmm. Right? That's right. Ok, ahora. Eh, vamos a ver. Quiero que se fijen en esto, en la estructura. If you think, if you can see, so you are able to see the now structure and keeps. And after that, 
the germ. Okay. Why keep has an S at the end? But to ask the question, teacher. Porque estamos hablando como de una, de un tercero. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe uh, the question was, why keeps has a S at the end? Okay, when we will describe a problem, we are talking about things. And remember, it is equal a thing. In this kind of cases, we are talking about a oven or the oven and the alarm. For the reason, we add S in keeps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's necessary a uh, very B or a model a model verb to use needs plus zero no it's not necessary you can place keeps or needs and after that ing verb or zero but what happened with needs plus as it infinity okay in here you can see at the beginning almost the same it needs but after that instead a gerund or ing we replace with to be adjusted to be fixed questions doubts yeah in which moment uh, we have to use one of those it doesn't matter. You can use it doesn't it matter. It. It's just a three option for say the same thing. Mm -hmm. Okay. If you feel, if you feel uh, com comfortable to say, hey, the oven needs to be adjusted, it's okay. But if you would rather say, hey, the oven needs adjusting, it's always the same. You can say that. But remember, it's necessary to learn the three ways. Because if uh, other person that speak with you and said everything keeps burning, or for example, uh, everything needs to be adjusted because, or it needs to be adjusted because everything keeps burning, you have to know what is he is talking or she is talking about, not just just one. Lo diré en español para que quede un poquito más claro. Ok. Las tres formas que vemos aquí presentes es lo mismo, dicho de diferente forma. ¿Cuándo lo vamos a ocupar? No importa, pero es necesario aprender las tres. Porque si usted solo se acostumbra a ocupar keep y no ocupa need, los zero o need plus, eh, para decir infinity, Cuando alguien más lo hable, usted va a estar perdido. Y muy probablemente le diga, hey, eso no se dice así. For that reason, it's so important to learn the three ways. Doubt or question, guys? Vamos a ver qué dicen los demás. Muchas gracias, Brandy. Maybe we have doubt or questions. Yeah, I understood. Mm -hmm. Me, three ways, three different ways to say almost the same. Mm -hmm. Okay, you maybe. And what about you, Jancy? What do you think? Do you have any doubt or questions? Creo que se tomando nota. Okay, Jaime, do you have? doubt or questions i think it's okay what about the rest morena yes. everything is clear everything is clear julissa call me no questions vanessa okay habiendo visto eso let's go it's time to continue with the class 
Well, guys, I know I have a uh, maybe short throat and it's a little bit difficult to speak and be clear, clear at the moment to speak, but I will do my best. Just a second, guys, it's necessary to walk up here. And after that, we will continue with the knowledge check. Okay, instruction. Complete the sentence choosing the correct uh, form of kit plus the correct form of the word. Okay, if you can see, here we got seven options. My computer is driving me, uh, driving me crazy. It, mm -hmm. it keeps breaking down. Okay. Breaking down. Uh -huh. Thank you, maybe. Okay, yes. next one. That's me. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They? Keep jamming. Keep jamming. Keep jamming. jamming. Mm -hmm. That you CD player often jumps to another song. It? It's keeping. It's keeping. It's skipping. Keeping. It's skipping. Keeps skip keeps skipping. Remember the the song of the S at the beginning is not S. Yes. No, like like the snake. It's skipping. 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 It's skipping. Okay. Skipping. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It it's breaking, breaking down. down. Okay. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They keep going there. Going there. Sometimes Ed can use his solar powered calculator. It keep breaking, breaking down. down. My computer screen needs to be replaced. It Resin. 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 Okay, the answering machine never speak up any calls. It keep going there. Keep. Keeps going there. Keeps going there. Okay, vamos a ver. Congrats, girls. You did a great job. Okay, that's made me feel a little bit uh, uh, comfortable because I can see that you understand this talk. Well, we will continue with another topic and this will be principal will learn vocabulary for discussing things that can go wrong with electronic items. But before be here, before be here, uh, I need to, uh, I need to volunteer first of all, to provide me two things to improve in his or her house. Mm -hmm. I need a volunteer. Teacher, your voice is, I don't know, but it, it hurts to, to listen to you very clear. I yeah, was microphone. Very, if it's your microphone or your voice is lower, both. <laughs> your voice is lower. I don't know. <coughs> ah, you're sick. Mm -hmm. You can't. have to eat ginger. Mm -hmm. Give me a second, guys, please. Corijito. <laughs> No, I know the reason that I can. Um, why he wants to volunteer? I didn't listen. Maybe. Yeah, I couldn't hear too, so I that's the reason that I be quiet because I don't understand sometimes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And I, I, I try to use this, but I can't connect my Bluetooth with the computer. So, uh, oh. boy, uh, do you want to volunteer for what? Okay, I need a volunteer to provide me two things to improve in her house. Like, ah. <laughs> like the knowledge check. Like okay. This. okay, you can choose 
whatever item that you want. Who wants to be the volunteer? Okay, Brandy. I have to give my example for, yeah? Yes, your example. Uh, let me see. The, the button of my microwave always oh, stick. So they uh, break, keeps breaking down, can I say? Mm -hmm. Or oh. no? What was the word that we learned yesterday? No, the first day of class when the windows cannot be open. It's stuck? Mm -hmm. So the bottom are stuck? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's this one. And just give me a second. What is it we want to okay. I say like a breaking down because it's like a sometimes works and sometimes doesn't work. <laughs> ah, I didn't understand so well. It's my apology. Okay, good example. Thank you. Thank you so much. Another example it could be my microphone. Yeah, it could be. I don't know. But you could put your microphone more near to your mouth. Maybe like here. Yeah. Can you listen me better? That's right. A little bit. <laughs> yes, when we can listen very well, I'm, I'm going to tell you. It's yeah. like a sometimes that we can hear you and sometimes your volume gone. <laughs> yeah, exactly, up and down your voice. Uh, sometimes up, sometimes down. That's why sometimes we, well, I don't know, but I, I don't understand you. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so sometimes, yeah. Muchas gracias por But it's okay, it's okay. I'm, uh, we are practice. Now, <laughs> is the way that the teachers say, okay, you have to pay attention? <laughs> no, no es eso. Mire, eh, primero que nada, me disculpo. Eh, sí, estoy un poco enfermo, pero no es nada del otro mundo, solo es frangitis. Pues me estoy quedando sin voz y estoy haciendo un esfuerzo. Eh, eso y mi micrófono que no funciona muy bien, me ha estado fallando. O es que está desarrollando. How do you say desarrollando? Evolving. Maybe with the, the sponge of the microphone. <laughs> Yo sé que without wear a lot younger than my age, I know I'm not evolving. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we will continue. It's it's stop the job okay. right now. Okay, because today we got an agenda and let me know. Do you, did you think okay, about my, my the example numbers? teacher. Huh? I want to give you my example. Provide me your example maybe, go ahead. Okay, Um, the paint of some of my walls needs to be fixed. Mm -hmm. Mm, yes, we can say that, but I guess we can use another verb, like painting. Mm. Uh, needs to be we can use this one. To be paint, painted? Needs to be painted. Painted? Painted. Painted. Mm -hmm. Like this one, just give me a second. I will say the stuff. The white. Okay. Mm, it's maybe walls. Mm. Maybe with walls needs to be painted. Podría decirlo así. Como que solo necesitan ser pintadas, porque si usted ocupa.
maybe this world thing needs to be needs fixing. It's so long, but it means a different. It sounds weird. Mm -hmm. It's it means like, uh, maybe you have, uh, humedad, or sweat your wall. De entender que tu su pared tiene un problema mucho peor. Como que necesita realmente ser raspado, volver a ser rapiado. Yes, it's true. <laughs> okay. Okay. Oh, teacher, you're room. always wrong. <laughs> In one room, because of my neighborhood uh, last month, it had a leaking in the middle of the walls. And then my wall was damaged. Mm -hmm. Okay, in this kind of cases, you can say it like this way. <laughs> it's cracking. The, 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 wall, the wall is cracking and the paint too. Oh. Oh. Okay, in this kind of cases, if you stay in that way, it sounds different. But if you say, oh, uh, the painting on my wall needs to be fixing, it sounds totally different and a different meaning but nice if you say be fixed mm -hmm, one of my wall needs to be fixed maybe i will ask you why and you can say ah the painting is falling it is scratch and many things there yeah. but you can say in this way hey one of my one of my wall needs to be fixed fixing uh, Needs Sorry, fixing well, or needs to be fixed, right? Mm -hmm. That's right, in that way. Okay, alguien más, someone else wants to share the examples? Okay. Okay, we are ready. Teacher, I don't know, but I have uh, mm -hmm. sentences about it. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I don't know. Uh, my sister keeps learning English from the internet. My sister keeps learning English on internet, mm -hmm. not from the eh? over the internet online. Can you repeat again your, your question? Is, sorry, can you repeat the sentence slowly, please? Yes, yes. Um, my sister keeps learning English over the internet. Ah, my sister keeps learning English over the internet. Mm. Um, we can say my sister keeps learning English. Um, over technical issues with inner. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Another example, guys. Recuerden, tenemos agenda. Hoy vamos a leer el principito. Oh, um, yeah. All of you. Move on. Yeah, move on. Did you... Okay, move on. We, we just follow the, 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 the agenda. <laughs> yes, thank you. Okay, we will continue, and the next topic will be the video. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving me crazy. It. The buttons on the remote control always stick. They. The UCD player often jumps to another song. It. Our new flat screen TV has a problem. It. Those old cell phones never work right anymore. They. Sometimes Ed can't use his solar powered calculator. It, my computer screen needs to be replaced. It, the answering machine never picks up any calls. It. 
Ready to describe a problem with an electric item you own? Follow my example. My computer keeps freezing. Type your examples on our discussion box. <clears throat> okay, guys, creo que I think this video it was about the previous knowledge that we already uh, analyzed about this one because all the options that uh, she said are the options here. We will continue and the next topic will be this one. <clears throat> Principal participant will learn vocabulary for discussing things that can go wrong with electronic items. Well, in this part, please pay attention because we will learn new vocabulary. If you have a notebook, please take note. If you have a, a sticky note, it's typing all the vocabulary is new for you. Well, it's time to play the video, guys. Hello, we want you to work on the following sentences. You may complete them by using the correct form of keep and the words in the box. This time, you will do this exercise on your notebook and ask your teacher to check them for you. My computer is driving. Um, uh, give me a second, guys. I guess. Let me tell you that there is an error in the videos. No, it's okay. The second one are the exercise. Mm -hmm. Because it's okay because the new vocabulary is this one. Perdón, I cannot draw with my computer, but is this, this is, it's got that, freeze, flicker, crash, breakdown, skip, overheat, jam. Okay. What does it mean, flicker? Mm -hmm, guys, Jamie, do you know what the meaning of speaker? Yes, sure. The, this word is new for me. It's it's never, like a bl blinking. Uh -huh. like. Flicker. Yeah, blink. What about go death? Mm -hmm. Go die. Go die. Morir. Se está muriendo. <laughs> mm. It could be without energy. Pass away. <laughs> yes. Oh, <it> passes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But go death, we can use uh, when some electronic device. Uh, lost all the energy. For, for example, imagine this maybe. Uh, you already go out of your job and it's raining. And you call to your son, hey, can you go for me to my job? Because it's raining and my cell phone is got there just like half 5% of energy. Or three percent of energy. Tú le estás diciendo, hey, mi batería está a punto de morir. Tengo tanto energía. A eso. 
What about yeah, when, okay. what about overheat? What does it mean overheat? Recalentar. Higher temperature. Mm -hmm. Sorry, calentar. Um, like the food or like what? Uh, for example, for example, I have a, a problem with my phone because when I'm have a video call, this is overheat. It's a perfect example. Thank you so much. What about freeze? What does it mean? When I have when I put water on oh, the fridge, frost is freeze. <laughs> oh no no no! The the scream is uh, I I freeze sometimes. No, no, another screen. Yes, it's freezing. It's when you are watching a uh, a, a movie, or you are using your computer, and the, and you cannot move anything. You move and just the mouse. You can see the mouse uh, go around, go around, but you cannot uh, minimum to maximum uh, the tab, but you cannot close uh, the app. That means freeze. What about breakdown? Algo que se está descomponiendo? Breakdown? No roto? Quebrado. Mm -hmm. Julio? Es como quebrado. Arruinando. Mm, veámoslo en este sentido. Descompose. No, se, no lo vean tanto. Oh. <coughs> del modo general recuerden que nosotros en eh, la etapa anterior se nos dijo de que íbamos a hablar miren electronic items este vocabulario sí. puede ser descomponerse breakdown es cuando no hay sistema our new flat screen TV has a problem eh, me dijo Marina y Julio, creo que la persona, Marina trabaja en un call center, bueno, Morena trabaja en un call center y creo que Julio trabaja como ingeniero eh, en fixing uh, food machine, am I right? Electrician. That is correct. Ah, electrician, ok. In that kind of cases, sometimes you have to, uh, in, the case of, in the case of Julio, sometimes he needs to be uh, like test for some electricity, electronic device. But when he go to the base in order to make that test, probably the person in the other in the other side of the line says, hey, I cannot help you right now. My system is break down. If you call to us in a five minutes, it will be great. It's the same on uh, Morena. I know sometimes happens that when you are working the Avaya is not working properly, or maybe the main, uh, compare, uh, let me, what is the name? The main server is not working properly. And what is the best way to explain that uh, to the customer? It says, hey, my system is break down. That means break down. What about crash? It's not choke. When the crash is when the any device uh, work well and not continue to work. Yes, uh, when the device cannot working well and it's not uh, doing anything. With breakdown, it can turn on. Again, you can work on that and start to working and a few minutes later it start to working again with crash no it's it's like an over for the device you need a technician to verify the device to be fixed okay guys that is the new vocabulary uh, just i need help with the um mm -hmm. Is ham is like a mermelada, but in this case, what that's mean? Mm, okay, in this kind of cases, do you remember when we use jam? 
Yeah, with bread and butter. Okay. The bottom in the remote control always stick. They jam. Pegado. What happens when you is... place jam with a bread and another bread here and you do this? Um, stick? It's like um, that. Como pegarse. Tascarse. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. O sea, Lo puedes presionar, pero el botón no va a subir inmediatamente. Se va a mantener y ahí va a ir bien lento, bien lento. Si es que no se está. No sé si ya te ha pasado eso con algún control. Ok. No. Skip es la que saltar. O... Vale, te lo, te lo, I, I will show you. This is, this is a joystick. A joystick has bottom. When it's a stick, the bottom it's like this. No, cuando se queda como trabado. This no. is a stick. But when it's jam, the bottom start to go up, but slowly. So slow. Got it. Yeah, I, I got it, but how, how can I say in Spanish that? <laughs> It's not a word. It's for that. Uh, Just jam. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you have another double question, guys? He's saying makeup. <laughs> okay. We will continue with a listen exercise. I will play one time the audio, and after that, I need. Let me see. One, two, three, four, or five people help me to answer those. And after that, when we finalize the section one, we will practice all uh, reading skill with the Principito book. Okay, I will play the audio. Listen to three people talk about their job. Complete the chart. One, Joe. I work in the watch repair center at a large department store. I repair all kinds of watches, but nowadays, most of them are pretty easy to fix because they all run on batteries. The most common problem is they need a new battery. Since that only takes a minute or so to fix, I always have plenty of time to tell my watch jokes, like this one. What time is it when an elephant sits on your watch? Time to buy a new watch. And here's another one. What time is it when the big hand is on the... Two, Louise. I repair luggage, mostly suitcases. I have a little shop at the airport. People spend a lot of money on luggage, and often all it takes is one flight for a suitcase to get damaged. The most typical problem, I guess, is the wheels. I fix the wheels on about 20 suitcases a week. It's not surprising, really, with the way those baggage handlers throw people's luggage around. You'd think they were playing ball, the way they toss the suitcases. Three, Sam. I repair household appliances. The most frequent calls I get are from people who are having trouble with the garbage disposal system in their kitchen sink. Usually, the thing gets jammed because people put too much food into it at one time, or something metal or plastic has fallen down into it. It's usually pretty easy to fix a garbage disposal, but every once in a while, you run into situations that aren't exactly typical. One time, a little girl put her doll down into the disposal. She thought the doll would enjoy the ride. She couldn't get it back out again, and she was afraid to tell her mother. So when the mother went to use the disposal, it made a horrible noise and then died. And so did the doll. Okay, guys. <clears throat> okay, guys. 
Uh, what is the first one? Mm -hmm. He was he repair watches. 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 This one. One point one. The typical it's a it's change battery. the battery. Change the battery. Change the battery. A new battery. They need a new battery. Hmm. Lloyd, what does this person refer? Suitcase. Luggage. 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 Can you talk to me, please. Luggage. L U. G, G, A, G, E. Yeah, luggage. What is the typical problem? The wheels. Wheels. Sam, what does this person refer? Household appliances. Mm -hmm. Can you spell to me, please? H O U. But this answer is wrong. S E. Oh, no, no, no. Again, H O S. Like a house, house. teacher. E house. Yeah. Oh. Asshole, no, H. Asshole, no, as this is H O L D. Asshole, but it's, it's, it's one word, not separate. Okay. Asshole. Anuncio, 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 guys. Eh, esta es una regla que no la digo a menudo, porque es bien raro que suceda. Pero be careful with your language. ¿Por qué? Yo sé que todos somos adultos y estamos acostumbrados quizás por la sociedad donde vivimos a escuchar ese tipo de palabras, pero a nuestro querido YouTube no, que nosotros subimos ahí los videos. Por lo tanto, si en algún momento pues nosotros expresamos eso y YouTube no lo, lo mira, nos podría botar el video y pues sería inconveniente pues, para ustedes para poder repasar esto en un futuro. <ríe> Habiendo dicho esto, is this the answer? No, household. Instead of fall, you can type. Okay. Household, H O L D. U is the chat. S E H O L D. Hall. Hall. Iris. Iris. So the chat just copy and House. Household appliance. No. Teacher house like you house how and you hold sustain it mm -hmm. finally <laughs> appliances necessary practice the the spelling guys I know this one <laughs> is my problem <coughs> it's the wheels the wheels hmm? The wheels. T H E the wheels. Mm -hmm. And one? the last one for me is wrong. I I I have household up places, but I don't know house. Yeah. No no no, teacher. A P P L P P A P P double P. English, please. Yeah, I speak English. We yes. um appliances. Apply. I type it on the chat. Thank you. Who has the person? Brandy and maybe. Thanks. Thank you. Okay. Now it's time for real. Mm -hmm. 
we lost many, many times in the last section, guys. The reason I guess you already read this and we will do as soon as possible in order to read at least one person, the principal. Okay. First one, the participant of the show get a system for experts. What is the answer? Two false, not given. I have ready. Oh, no, I didn't do this part. I'm sorry. Yeah. I couldn't read. In this I just finished the first part. Okay. Brandy, you will read the first paragraph. Then maybe the first paragraph, the house. Two, oh, we are going to read the principal. <laughs> and okay. maybe since two, two options. Jamie is to plan. Morena. When I'm going to finish? Everybody real. <clears throat> Go ahead. I have to start. Mm -hmm. oh, when I'm going to finish? A, a space. A space. Okay. Trading spaces is key. Scheme the article. Why do you think the show is called? Trading spaces. How fast can a home remodeling? Yeah, thank you. How how fast can a home remodeling project be completed? About forty eight hours at least. Does the basis of the popular reality TV show called Trading Spaces? Paces. Thank you. Maybe. Two sets of neighbors switch homes for two days and redecorate a single room in their neighbor's home. But both teams have the help of a designer, a handyman, and a budget of uh, $1,000. At the end of the second day, the HOTS reveals the rooms to the homeowners, who usually say, wow, that's great. Sometimes, however, they get upset. Thank you, maybe. And right now, Jamie. Is this reality TV realistic? Up to a point, the designers actually get videotaped of the rooms and plan, and plan out every step beforehand. Even the materials are pushed in advance. It's the same at home, one designer said. If you don't want a project to last for months, you need a game plan. Thank you. Hey, Morena. Everybody thinks trading space is totally real, but trading space is totally not real. Okay. We'll store here <clears throat> and I would like to say something. Thank you. I would like to uh, congrats uh, for all of you and especially for you guys that you already read and you already did a great job. I like your fluence, how you use the grammar and the punctuation. But Everybody, every day we learn many things. And is this the main purpose of this class? Okay, maybe you read so well, you didn't make any mistake, but you are uh, here, an extra word that is not here. You said home. So that you said, but both team have the help of the sign and continue reading. But is not there. It something happens. It happens to uh, everybody, also me. But just pay a little bit more attention. What about you, Jamie? You did a great job. I like uh, the the tone of voice that you use because it's in a in a chord line. It's not so low, 
so so low or so quiet. You have a first tone of voice. But uh, in your case, <clears throat> you may pause where is not a punctuation. For example, you said plan out every step of beforehand. Also, where I guess it's here. But Worst case, case, maybe. When you read that in that way, sometimes it's like you divide an idea into ideas and we lose the meaning. But you did a great job. Just try to make a pause when you find a comma, dot, a semicolon, etc. But you did a great job. Okay. Thank, I need thank you for the paper. Another four volunteer. Jancy, can you help me? Since said to actor and also Julio, can you help me? Since so to theater. After that, Vanessa, can you help me? La since bar to show. And Julissa, since it to again. And the last one, Miss Lopez, since but to place. Okay. And go ahead, Jancy. Where I have to start, teacher? Here. Say to us. Uh, okay. Say the woman who appeared on this show. If we didn't do something on camera, right, we had to do it again. You become an actor. Thank you. Julio. So, now, ha now happy our homeowners owner after their remodeling. Generally, the participants are trailer but one copper in Port Portland, Oregon, had their new room there. Comfortable but scrapping family room was transformed into the dark movie theater. Mm, our, then Vanessa, can you help me since bad to show? Me. Mm -hmm. Vanessa Esmeralda. Ok, creo que tuvo problemas técnicos. Suddenly. Mm, I need a volunteer to help me with this one. Me. Mm -hmm. But you didn't see that on show. You didn't see me crying. Say Shannon Pitts. They edited it, edited it, edited it out of the show. I don't know if it is okay, this word. They edited it out. Edited it. They edited it out. Edited it. Edited it out. Edited it out. Of the show. Thank you. And Julissa, can you help me since it's to again? It really was a non functional room, says Scott Pitts. All you could do was watch TV. So they found themselves remodeling their own space again. Thank you. Vanessa, you are back. You are ready to read the last part, please. Okay. But even though Shannon and Scott didn't like the way they 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 family room tor 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 up tor tor up, they they still be 
on the show again. Why? They look, look, redecorating the neighbor place. Thank you, guys. I appreciate so much your effort. <clears throat> it's time to finalize. And it's half. Okay. <clears throat> and, the, and the two numbers, teacher. <laughs> For tomorrow. Okay. We cannot complete the agenda. Also, we cannot complete the unit one. And to me, I had the goal to finalize for today the second one and at least the participant. But it will spend um, many times in many activities. But don't worry, it's it's the price to learn. I hope that although you can improve the, you can learn many things today. And my sincere apology for my voice and my microphone for today. But don't worry, uh, we can do the next one. If you want, if you want to read the, the, the Principito, you can send, send through the chat your number and I will give it to you where it will be the part that you need to be ready. And you can send a, a voice if you want. If you don't want, it's okay. We can try tomorrow to make a reading. <laughs> and as a homework, please, finally the section one, Try to make the last of the section is this one, this part. Try to answer. And if it's possible, try to start the section two until 2.5. Until here. What is the homework? This is this is a regular homework. We need an extra homework. Okay, I don't have homework. Uh, no. <laughs> I have exam this week, so no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, it's time. It was more than a pleasure to be with you this, this hour. And yeah, it's time. Have a good night. See you tomorrow, guys. And it was a pleasure to be with you. See you. See you. Bueno, okay. Por favor, porque ya me duele hablar. Adiós. Bye. Okay. Chao.